you sound like a robot. And so my audio, hopefully it don't sound like a robot now. We'll find out really soon. So we're going to go over what sold. Hopefully you guys had a really good weekend. I sold 20 items between Saturday, Sunday, and overnight. Today is Monday morning, bright and early, 8 o'clock. It's actually 8.50, almost 9. But yeah, let's go over what sold. 20 items. A lot of them were good sales. Hopefully people will start popping in here, which they will, and they'll tell me if I sound like a bot or not. Hopefully I don't. The good news is, though, while I hopped off, I sold another item and I was able to print it out. So I only have two USB ports. He's back. Casey, how do I sound? I only have two USB ports on my computer. So when I do my printing, I have to unplug one and plug one back in. I sold an item. So sold an item while we were gone. This can be the first item we talk about then. Hey, sounds great. I restarted my computer. Who would have thought, right? I'm like that guy. What, what's the first thing you do to troubleshoot? Restart everything, unplug, all that sort of thing. All right. First item that sold. Hey, Paul. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone comes back in. We had a good crowd. But uh, 20 things over the weekend, some decent prices. That's the good news. And again, I hope you guys had good sales. And like always, I hope you found you're going to find something new here to you to take on with you when you go thrifting. Um, good morning, surf. It's a balmy 60 degrees in Naples, Florida. Patriot girl. I love it. You know what? I need to get my skim board back here. I need to put it somewhere up here. I, I used to go to Naples, Florida, like four or five times a year and I have a skim board. It weren't big waves, but I thought I was really cool especially when I thought I was like more in shape too. By the way, I'm going to try to go to the gym today. Um, good job, old man. Thank you. So these are Polo Ralph Lauren. Hopefully you'll be able to get a good look at these. These are corduroys, right? Corduroy pants, but they're not any old corduroys. Look at all this extra stuff. I always say look at all the extra stuff when it comes to Polo Ralph Lauren. You got all these extra suspender buttons. You have this weird hook and loop here in the front. They're just unique. They have all this writing on them. And I found a pair that sold just like them. So this pair sold for, I got to get my phone back out. Um, this pair sold for 60 bucks. So a normal pair of Polo Ralph Lauren corduroys, which I will show you my corduroy bin. Boom, right there. They sell for around like 32 this one sold for $60, which I took a best offer of. I had it had it for $69. I listed it this weekend. I could have gotten $69, but I think $60 is a fair price. And let's get some stuff moving before people don't want to spend money next year after Christmas. So $60, $5 into $60 for these. Fold them like that, and there we go. Um, let's see. Hit that like button chat. Oh, thank you, Patriot Girl. Um, get that board up. I know. I need to get up. It's a legit skin board. It's not like one of those cheapies. It's like fiberglass and all that sort of stuff. I used to have a picture of me posing next to it like when I had good at anyways. All right. This item sold. It's going to be going out. Let's see. Padded flat rate envelope. Um, like I said, it just sold while I was rebooting. So $60, five into 60. That's a good sale. Um, I'm not going to pack everything here because I'm going to do a little short video of me packing some stuff. Um, just to test stuff out, see how it goes, and then we'll uh, see how it works. If you weren't here earlier, um, I forget who asked. They say they sell just sneakers and they're looking to sell other things. What would you recommend selling? I told them that I sell or her, forget, um, I, I've sold everything under the sun. I've sold a car on eBay, cars on eBay. Um, I've sold antiques, collectibles, shoes, everything. Um, I've had to pivot to what I can find the most of and, and um, also source the most of. It's clothing, obviously, and shoes. I have some shoes here. Um, but I will sell anything, but it's what you can source. Wherever you live, what can you find often? Um, sell that. Is it easy for you to uh, list it, ship it? Can you uh, sell it quickly? Can you get it cheap? That sort of thing. Sorry for that. Three-inch tape, boy. Three-inch tape. But, yeah, first item, pet a flat rate envelope. Five into 60. Um, question. I had my best weekend so far. Let's go. Some of us, some one of us needs to, Patrick. Um, but I'm new and I sold a where the wild things are frame picture. Any shipping advice? Um, you don't want it to break. Okay. So how big is it? Because I've sold lots of framed artwork too. 
It depends how much you sold it for. Um, you're going to need a specialty box if it's decent size. I, I would go to like, it sucks because you can order one off eBay if, or off Amazon if you want to wait. But uh, or you could go to UPS if if the if you have a lot of margin there, you go to UPS and get um, a box that fits it. And then you need to have like two inches all the way around it between the box and the picture. So if the picture frames this big, you need to have two inches this way and two inches this way. So it needs to be like a five inch width box or something around that size. So thank you for all the wonderful resale information. Very much appreciate you. Thank you, Serena. That's why I do this. I hope you learn something. Like those Polo Ralph Lauren corduroys, most people probably would have listed or at the beginning, I would have listed them at $32. Someone would have snagged them. I got 60. I got double that. Um, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Good morning, Mary. Everyone's up this morning. I thought it would be just me, myself, and I, but welcome in. Uh, which box do you use for shipping cowboy boots? And what do you charge? I sold a pair in one hour. Well, first of all, Patriot Girl, nice sale. Um, cowboy boots, I get, I usually use like a box like this and you can cut it down. You can cut it down, but it's a bigger box again. And the thing is with the cowboy boots, you really don't want to bend them too much. Um, these bend down obviously right here, but, um, I like to ship them out in something like this, uh, put a little packing material in there so they don't bang around too much. Um, but yeah, that's a good sale, but the way you do it when I do ship buyer pay shipping for everything. So if I'm doing cowboy boots, I'm going to do a 12 by 12 by 12 and I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in how much they weigh and then it'll calculate to eBay, wherever they live, how much it's going to cost them. So whenever I list the cowboy boots, I'll put the boxes 12 by 12 by 12 and the boots weigh four pounds or whatever it is. We'll just put that there for now. Look nice and neat. And ah, we'll put it back there. So. This is my, that's my shipping room slash Santa Claus presents room. Um, three by five is $59, $59 for three by five. Patrick, let's see. Hopefully that works. Three by five. I'm guessing like three inches deep. Um, have you listed those W or uh, Ralph Lauren jeans yet? No, I, that might be a thing I need to tackle today. So with those Ralph Lauren jeans, remember I got all of them and I posted a picture. I picked up five more. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to post them. Um, I think I'm going to post each one. They're going to be really detailed pictures. And then I'm going to put like a number on the last picture. I'm going to put like a one uh, by it. And now I'm going to put that on a piece of paper. And then I'm going to put that one in the back pocket. And each one of them will have a number because a lot of them look similar and they're all in really good condition. And that way, when I sell them, I'll be able to know exactly which one it is. There you go. That would be the put in a special envelope. I could do that too. So I could put it in a special envelope and mark one on that envelope. Like put it in this, get it ready to go. And then they'll ship out in a pad of flat rate. But no, I haven't. But I have listed, um, I didn't even post it. I have listed a couple of, uh, actually I haven't listed these, but I took pictures of these double RL shirts. So I have some shirts I need to uh, list that are double RL. Yeah, those would be really good money. I did list some of that bulk buy of those shoes, and I sold a fair pair of fair gamos already. Um, and not as much as what you think, but it's what they bring. Uh, thank you, calculated. I thought you used fixed shipping prices. So Patriot Girl, I use calculated shipping, always have on eBay. So what I do is calculated shipping, and I put in how I'm going to ship the item. So for example, that box might be ground or priority. I put in the dimensions and the weight, and then eBay will take care of wherever the person lives. If they live in Washington, it's going to charge them however much it costs. It'll be quite a bit. If they live in the state next to me in Illinois, it'll be less. So eBay will figure that out. If you do, you pay shipping. Um, that's something that you'd want to figure out before and mark it into your costs. Like you're going to weigh it and uh, see how big it is, and then see how much it's going to cost all around the country. That's why I just think. Buyer pay shipping is the easiest because then you don't have to, you won't get hurt. Um, let's go back to the very first item that sold over the weekend. Um, if you were here just a few minutes ago, we talked about it. This is a Tommy Bahama silk. It sold obviously because it has that big embroidery on the back and it's just a button up 100% silk XL. 
Uh, for Tommy Bahama, I get vibrant, bright patterns, silk or linen, and bigger the better. And I also get anything with that big, big, giant logo hit thing on the back. So that sold $5 into $50. Like I said, I'm going to do a little video of packing later, um, a little short. I'm going to try to have never done it before. So I'm going to put that down here for now and um, pack that one up later. Next item that sold. Uh, hopefully you guys know this brand by now. If you watch me long enough, you've probably seen some of these brands. But this is a bolo. Buck Mason, this would be if I made a bolo list and put like, like this is be this would be towards the top, like an A or B item. So Buck Mason, really good brand to be on the lookout for. You don't find it very often. Short sleeve button up shirt. Um, it sold for forty three eighty eight. Had five dollars into it, so I had ten dollars into two of those short sleeve button up shirts. Sold for around a hundred dollars, which is good because this time of year, you know, I'm happy selling those short sleeve shirts. Happy about it. I'm going to put that one down there too because I want that to be in the video because that's a good bolo item. Next item, James Purse. I think it's James Purse, James Pierce, James Purse. I don't know. The women's do okay. There are actually certain models that do better than others in women's. It's like they have a it's like a button-up women's um, or if it's like a cashmere or whatever. But James Purse in men's always sells well for me. So I picked these up for $5 as usual. They come in size like European, um, two, four, six, eight, that sort of thing, three, I think. Um, but this is really hard to see. It's just a chest pocket, long sleeve, really lightweight shirt. It sold for um, $26.61. So that was an auto posture sale. It's going to go out in one of my poly mailers that I have linked in my link tree. I love these things. Um, and yeah, so 26 bucks. Hopefully everyone else's sales were good. Someone had their best weekend ever. How about that? That is nice. I didn't have my best weekend ever, but I sold stuff. I also low, I've been, what I did actually was take pictures of all the whatnot women's clothing. And I've been loading that, that, that one's going to have more give. It's going to have uh, three giveaways and then the buyer appreciation giveaway, which you probably already know what that's going to be. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing, loading that up since it's next Sunday at 8 p.m., the 17th. Um, all women's clothing. Next item that sold were men's 511 jeans. Not 511, 505. 505 are one of the worst pairs to pick up to sell. 505 and 550, these are like the most produced. They're sold at uh, like Kohl's and places like that. Not a bad jean. I'm just telling you, they're not the, they don't bring the best money. But as you know, if I can get jeans for my jeans cost $7.99. If I can buy them new with tags, I will buy any men's Levi's new with tags for $7.99 because I will make money off of them. These sold for $30.79. That's an auto posture sale. And I will pack these up. So these are going to go out in a padded flat rate. They should. Yep. Padded flat rate envelope. So pretty good sale. Um, and as far as those Polo Ralph Lauren pant, those jeans, I paid around $40 a piece for them and they're really good condition. There's real, there's some really good things going for them. Actually, it has all the good things going for them. They're a good size. They're all 36 or 38 waist, which is a good size. And then they're all 32 or 34 length, which is really great. So I've got some good things going for me when it comes to those, those jeans, double RL jeans. So there we go. Padded flat rate envelope out the door. $7.99 into $30. They take fees and everything else. And I have um I have buyer pay shipping, as you guys know. So buyer pay shipping on all this stuff. So when people online are like, well, we have to pay for shipping. No, I don't pay for shipping. Um, auto posture, let's go. Casey, I know. Auto posture. This this next one's an auto posture too. Auto posture for the win. Um, good morning. I forgot you're not on TikTok. Yeah, Donna, um, I'm doing I'm doing TikTok too, but I'm doing a lot on Facebook and um, YouTube because I just feel like we have a lot of engagement over here. Uh, or not, yeah, fa yeah, Facebook and YouTube. I just like the engagement. Um, and then later on, that saves, and we can talk later on in it, which I like. So Carhartt, um, just a flannel, really heavy-duty flannel. And it was interesting because I put – 
the whenever you find Carhartt, you know, you just look up the little ID number right here. Um, it's hard to see, but it's right there where my middle finger is showing you, and I'm not giving you the middle finger. And I put it in, and it came up with a uh, Hubbard flannel shirt. And the person like, what's Hubbard mean? Does that mean anything? I'm like, no, it's just the name of it. Uh, I, I was honest. I'm like, I just typed in the code, and that's what came up. So like, oh, okay. So they bought it. Um, twenty six ninety six, and that was a – did I just get another sale? No. twenty six ninety six. that was an auto posture sale. That's going out. Priority is heavy. It's heavy. Um, how do you know if it's auto posture? Good question, Amy. So auto posture, and if you're watching this later, um, I use auto posture as an assistant. Um, it sends out offers to anyone who's interested in my item and it delists and relists my item. So it always makes it pushes everything up in the algorithm and eBay and my store. Um, but I price all my items at like 99 cents, 88 cents, 22 cents, but mostly 99 cents. And if something sells for $26.96, I know Autoposher sent an offer out and whatever it was priced at, it they took that offer. So they took an offer and took 10% off. I think right now I actually changed it back to seven. I don't know if it's at 10 or seven, but that's how I know if it's an Autoposher sale. I don't really know if it's a relist delist unless it's an item that I've had for a really, really long time. But that's a hard one to figure out. I could go in and look, but I'm not going to take the time to do it. I just know how many D-list or relist I have a day. So this is going out priority. Again, $5 into 26 So I don't buy a lot of these Carhartts. I will for $25. But if you've been to Ross or anywhere recently, they have these Carhartts. Last week I went and they're starting to be on clearance. So be careful with picking these up. So word to the wise, just because I sold this for $26, paid five, um, word to the wise, be careful. I wouldn't pay probably more than five for these anymore. Me, personally. All right, you do you. You do you. We'll talk about the next item after I answer your questions. Um, Buck Mason, interesting, thanks. Yeah, that's why I follow you. I don't know a lot of the modern Bolo brands. Yes, Buck, Buck Mason for sure. Motto, Bolo. Modern Bolo brand. Um, again, a lot of those modern Bolo brands go in and out quick within a few years. So that's a brand right now to be on the lookout for. Uh, thanks for fixing the mic. I know. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about the mic. Good morning, Heather. Audrey, I had to restart my computer. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Here's a good... Pay attention. Well, I'm, I'm acting like my class. Pay attention. Okay. Two pairs of Bonobos pants. I do not pick these up anymore. They used to be a really good seller when I first started. 2016, 17, 18. Bonobos pants like this. They're just a five pocket twill pants. They weren't selling. I sold them as a lot, these two pair. And I sold them as a lot for $26.88. That was an auto posture unless it was a D-list relist. Um, but $26. I'm just going to tell you right now when the... The last things we'll get to if you have to go. I sold a pair of brand new um, Bonobos pants for $26. So these just don't sell as well. So not the brand alone. The brand I'll still pick up some things like golf attire and the performance stuff. But these pants just don't sell like they used to, unfortunately. So these are going out actually in a Tyvex envelope. Um, 88 is my lucky number. I actually price a lot of my stuff at 88 cents. I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a reason I'm not, I didn't go to school for marketing or anything like that, but 2688, how about it? But yeah, I, um, put those together. They were the same size. I paid $5 a piece. So I have 10 into these and they sold for 26. I didn't lose money. I made money, but I just... I mean, if that's what you have in your town and you can make and you want to get that 10 to $12 profit sale, go for it. I'm just not going to really pick these up anymore uh, very often. That's what I say now. If I start to dry up on my clothing, I'll have to pick them up. All right. So that, that goes there. This one is an international shipping. I'll tell you about it after I answer your questions. So good morning. Good morning, Heather. Um, sirs, I bought something from Plato's Closet last week and sold it in three days. Kate, I need to get on your level. I need to go to Plato's Closet. 
because people keep talking about Plato's Closet and sourcing from there. I need to try it out. The last time I went to Plato's Closet, it was, it sucked. But I think they have days where they have like sale days or whatever, or they might have those Buck Mason brands that people don't know about. But I feel like the people at Plato's Closet, if I worked at Plato's, I'd be searching that stuff up. And when I get off work, I'd be buying it. That's just me. I don't know. But yeah, I want to go to, I want to go to, I definitely want to go there. Plato's and in, in Source. So as you guys know, I love my Levi's Pearl Snap shirts. Any Levi's Pearl Snap, this is not. So there are two types of pockets. There is a sawtooth and that has the two Pearl Snaps. That's a sawtooth. I heard someone the other day say this was a sawtooth. This is not a sawtooth. Um, and then this is a size 3XL. So I know it's hard to see. Maybe you can see it there. Size 3XL, retail arbitrage. I remember I got this at Burlington. I think this is the, I got like three of them. This is the last one that I've sold. So this is the final one. It sold for $46. It took a best offer of $46, cost me less than $20, and it's shipping internationally. So this one is going to Illinois. I have no idea in the world where it's going in the actual world. But I did make $20 on it. And I'm going to actually just go and pat a fly right. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to pack this later. I'm going to do a little short later. You can look at it, see if it's cool or not. Um, let's see. How do you take and pull out all the items you're packing? I'll tell you. Uh, our, okay, let me. I'm way behind. I'm so sorry. Audrey, uh, our Plato is having a 12 days of Christmas sale. If y'all want to check out yours. Okay. Well, Plato's is is a chain, but I wonder if it's their own like franchises, um, franchise franchisee owners. That's a good question. I will check it out. Tomorrow is a thrift day. I'll be live thrifting on Tuesday. Maybe Thursday, Bearded and I are doing a nine to nine all day thrift on Thursday. Uh, how long does it take you to pull out those items that you're packing? Not very long, as long as it would take anyone. So for example, right when I restarted my computer, I had another sale. So it was a sale I just packed earlier of a pair of corduroys pants. I went over to my corduroys bin and I just pulled it out. They were the blue pair. I only have one blue pair. I pulled it out. That's how long it took me. Um, I have a whole bin right here of new with tags Levi's. This whole bin right here is new with tags Levi's. And so I have a pair right here that we're going to pack up in a second. And I had a pair a minute ago, new with tags Levi's. I just look in here. And I find the new with tags. They have the little little code on them right there, the little uh, size thing on them. Pick them out. It takes me that quick. So that quick. Here goes my shipping stuff. Back to the table. So it doesn't take me very long. 20 items took me like, I don't know how long, maybe five or 10 minutes. Um, Let's see. Uh, I have found... I can't hold on to Ralph Lauren Polo Chinos for more than a few days. They sell crazy quick. Blue pony on the back waist. Okay, so yeah, the Chino pants, Ralph Lauren with the blue pony. I agree. So the pants, the Polo Ralph Lauren pants, like you can get them for $5. As long as they're not chopped off to like a 28 inseam, I like picking those up too with the pony. The pony are the little bit higher end ones. You'll see the one that just says Polo on the back pocket. Uh, I thought I might've had one down here. I don't, um, but you want that pony. I agree. Good call. Good call on that, Amy. Um, hook pullover. I definitely be back to source. Uh, I have 10% coupon good till July. Wow. One of the booster cards from the local high school. Dang. We don't have, you know what? I did buy a booster card. I wonder if that's on there. They probably didn't put that on there. We'll see. Maybe I'll be positive. They put that on there. Now, our play our Play-Dohs is kind of expensive, but they don't know uh, certain brands. Yeah. Bought a wool cashmere sweater for a dollar. Also, rewards program. You can get 20% off. All right. So you guys are really convincing me to go to Play-Dohs. And you're convincing me I might go today. Today is not a thrift day. Today is a work day. You guys are going to make me break the rules. And I'm fine with that. Um, everyone says, nice, Audrey. Yes, franchise. Okay. So franchise. Good morning from Northeast Ohio. What's up, Northeast Ohio? You got the sun before me in Indiana. Good morning. It's cold out, isn't it? I know it's cold where you are. It's cold here, too. It's really cold. Uh, it's not really cold, but it's cold. I guess it's seasonably cold. Uh, is all your in inventory to do with half clothing uh, been somewhere else? Yeah, so 
all my bins inventory or do you have clothing bin somewhere else? So all my clothing are get that. Could you all my clothing are in bins down here. So this room that you're looking at right here has about 60 bins in it. Everything's categorized by like item. So I'll have a cargo shorts, I'll have a hiking shorts, I'll have hiking pants, I'll have the Levi's new with tags. Everything's in a bin like item. Then the room over next door, I have a wall where I have another 20 bins. And then I have a, two cupboards. That's really old of me to say cupboards full of shoes, packed with shoes. So that's how I have my storage system that, that I work with. Um, no matter what you do, you need to do a storage system, whether it be, you know, I've gone from a small, small little piece of clothing in a room to a room full of clothing on the ground where I got stuff and then to a small bin system. You just keep working up and you figure it out. Uh, shout out to my wife for helping me figure all this stuff out uh, and making me actually do it. Uh, do you have a podcast? I don't have a podcast. Wayne and I do a vlog. Uh, usually once a week, it might be different during the holidays on YouTube and Facebook where we answer questions. Um, but I don't know. I, I like to talk a lot, so we'll see. Uh, how many items do you have in your inventory? No, what right now I have 1300 and like 20 items in my store, which would mean I have that in my inventory, which is everything down here. And then I have a lot more that I need to list. So in my inventory for sale right now, around 1300. I have another 65 or so that I'm loading into the whatnot show. And then I have too much to tell um, in my um, death pile. I always find a lot of Robert Graham's usually $10. Casey, we're at, at, uh, at Plato's. Robert Graham's at, for $10. If they're all over, I would pick those up in a heartbeat. At Plato's, got you. Shelby, whatever. Get out of here with Shelby. You and Shelby are buddies. All right, so that's sold for 46 I'm going to put that in a package later. Like I said, um, I will pick up any of these. These are a 550. And I said earlier, 550 and 505. 550 and 505 are my least favorite. And these are a bad size, 29 by 30. I bought two of these. If you watched a live video of me packing maybe two weeks ago, I sold the other pair of these. But again, if I can get them for $7.99, I will pick up any Levi's new with tags that are men, not necessarily women's. $24.99 on these. You see the price difference between the others? Because a 29 is not a great weight size. That's that's itty bitty. That's like a teenager. That's like a middle schooler, maybe. But it's going out in a padded flat rate envelope. Again, I paid $7.99 for it. Let's see. Making sure it's going to the right person. Should be going to Ara. Ara. A R A. That's Ara, right? Ara? Ara? Whatevs. I don't need to know. doesn't matter. All right. Here's a prime example of something that sells once to sell again. I, 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 I'm I, like, oh, gosh, where did I put that? And I'm like, oh, it's in my bag right here of stuff I just brought down that got put back from the Postal Service office. I got back in my uh, P.O. box. So this was a return. It's an outdoor research. O.R., look for that. O.R. is outdoor research. If you find that symbol, it's a good thing. It's a higher-end hiking brand. This is just a waffle like a steel blue. They returned it because they said the pictures look gray, but they might've looked gray. They look blue. I put blue in the title. I put blue in the description. I put blue in the item specifics and they returned it because they say it doesn't look it. They wanted gray. So whatever, took it back. It sold again. Um, and that sold for 20. No, that sold for $37.99. It's just a zip up $37.99. Is what that sold for. I was really confused for a second. What did I say? Um, that explains it. What did I say? Does your YouTube does your YouTube hide comments? I'm not seeing any of these questions in my chat. Oh, because it's on restream. So we have some Facebook questions and some YouTube questions. So I have a program which I pay for. Um, it and it streams on both YouTube and Facebook because we have people everywhere and it's hard to switch people from like one platform for the other. Like my wife stays on Instagram and TikTok only shouldn't go. So it's, that's what I do. This sold for $37.99. Again, sells once it'll sell twice. Um, that was one of those things. I forget if I ate the shipping or whatever. I just don't want negative feedback. I have one negative feedback that's just hanging on by a thread. I don't know exactly when it's going to fall off, but it's like within the next month or two, I think. So one negative feedback. And I made it right. 
I sent the guy all the money. I've talked about it before. I'm not going to talk about it again. All right. Brand, Kissix. I bought three pairs of these. So Kissick, you can try to pronounce that. Kissick, K-I-Z-I-K. There you go, Kissick. There it is on the bottom again. These are actually a wide, so 12 wide. But these shoes are known for just slipping your, your foot in and out, in and out. So two pair, I bought three pairs. I sold one of them, this black pair of Kissick. I took a best offer of $49. Let's see how much I paid. I paid eight blue. So $8 and the tag of the week was blue, which means they weren't half off. That was just the new tag of the week. Good flipping Tucson morning. What's up, Lena? Uh, I want to be in Tucson, Arizona. What's the temperature in Tucson right now? Is it hotter than Phoenix? Tucson, Tucson. I feel like it's higher than Phoenix. Maybe. I don't know. Higher level elevation all right so that's going out one of these um shoe boxes that i get free from the postal service and i know i'm going to go to the postal service later today and it's going to be a cluster but that's all right it is what it is we're going to pack these up a little nice i'm um, going to put it in there do you like woolrich um i got some yesterday from a garage sale for a dollar i really don't think you can lose for a dollar so no matter what it is, Woolrich, I don't think you can lose for a dollar. I actually like um, Woolrich wool sweaters that are that have something cool. Like we'll talk about it later, but this American Eagle that I posted a picture of, if that was a Woolrich, I would sell for quite a bit. Um, those those knit Woolrich that are um, Fair Isle, I like those. But like cotton Woolrich, I don't pick up because it costs five dollars for me. But at a dollar and you sell it for 10, 11, or 12, I think that's worth it for me. 10 degrees cooler than Phoenix. Okay. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was a little bit higher. But still, I bet it's nice and nice and toasty compared to here. It is 29 degrees here. 29 degrees in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's December. I got it. It's, it's expected. Um, do you, uh, let's see. Replying. Okay, replying. Good. Thanks. You're welcome, Cindy. Um, again, it all depends on the price you, you purchased it at, right? So I give Buried a hard time. If you guys know Buried on TikTok, I give him a hard time because they don't pick up Columbia. But guess what? I picked up like 50 pairs of Columbia shorts when Dix had that outlet sale because I picked them up at like a dollar or two a piece. I'm going to sell those in the summer from anywhere from like probably 12 to $18 a piece. So it all depends on how much you pick an item up. I don't buy Columbia here because I don't have enough profit at our thrift stores. But I will pick it up if I can buy it cheap. So I think you did fine. Um, 45 now, 75 today. Ooh, I like that. I like the when it's chilly. Well, there's that's proves there's no humidity there, as we all know in Arizona. 49 at night, 75 during the day. So nice warm up. Get those reptiles nice and warm. Get out in the sun and then it gets chilly at night. Keep your windows open if you want. Vincent, get those. Those are some nice Kissicks. Kissicks. That's the second pair I've ever sold of Kissicks. That's e one of Ethan's favorite brands to sell. All right, next item. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We got our first snow overnight. Naughty Thrifts, where are you? Oh, in Pennsylvania? Ooh. I wonder if you're part of that line that those storms that came across the country. I know they hit like there were tornado outbreaks and stuff in Tennessee. And then obviously it comes over to you. Um, we just had rain, but sorry about your snow. Unless you like it. It's December and there's Christmas lights. I like snow. When there's Christmas lights, I want to see snow personally. All right. So here we go. This is if this was Polo Ralph Lauren, this would be like a hundred. In $50, $200 sweater maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Um, but this is an American Eagle. It's American Eagle hand knit, very heavy wool sweater. So this was more about the style and the um, material. That's why I picked this up. Uh, don't normally pick up American Eagle. Very, very, very rarely do I pick it up because of where I live, the how much it costs. There's not a lot of margin there. So this cost $5. I flipped it into $28.99 pretty quickly. 
but there are there were tons of comps on this, so I listed it accordingly. You know, I undercut everyone for like two bucks. So, um, when will retail stores put their winter stuff on clearance? My guess is right after Christmas. You're gonna see a sale. My guess, um, right after Christmas, because they're gonna wait. They, everyone's buying right now for Christmas. But then again, they also know everyone shops right after Christmas to get returns and gift cards and whatever. So maybe January. I don't know because it, it was before the pandemic when retail arbitrage was really good. And then it came back like after the, the summer this year. It was really good. So we'll find out. We'll find out together. Um, I'm going to actually ship this out in a one of these boxes, uh, one of these shoe boxes. Again, these are priority. As long as you send the item priority. No, I can't. I'm sending it ground. So I cannot do that. I just saw that there's a G on it. So I'm going to send it in one of these poly mailers. So one of these poly mailers is going to get this. If you're shipping priority, you can ship it in that box. So that's a good example. If I would have shipped it in that and put ground, I would have got uh, I would have gotten charged. My credit card's on file through the system. So I would have gotten uh, hit um, and gotten charged more. Uh, are you putting it each shoe in a priority envelope in the box? So I will put them in either bags like this. So I'll put them in bags like this or like an envelope like this or an envelope like this um, and then put it in the box. That's normally what I do. So there's that. Shoot. I want to do a save that for um, I might save that for later. Shoot. I already put it in there. That's all right. We'll see. We'll see. I might say that for later. I told you I want to do like a little short with packing. So we'll see. I'm going to put that down here. We'll see about that one. Um, uh, It's I'll trade. Lana S. I'll trade. Yeah, me too. I want to trade too. I want to go to Tucson. I want that. All right, guys. You're going to see a video coming out. Here we go. I'm going to show you unless you follow me. Uh, I'm in South Central. Uh, it was two days of rain, wind, snow overnight last night to the end. Oh yeah. So it switched over. So the rain to the snow, so that front came through. So if you guys in the Midwest, we always get like the rain, then it flips over to ice and snow and it gets nasty. Um, who chooses, uh, the ground versus priority and what is the price difference? So I choose, um, how I want to ship it. So I'll either ship, for example, when I'm listing my item, I have three spots in my shipping category that it's it's ground advantage, padded flat rate, or priority. And that, or in flat rate envelope, but we'll stick with those three. Ground, advantage, priority, padded flat rate. So I will put that in. I decide that I put the measurements and the weight. If it's priority, I decide that too. Um, I'll put the pound, the weight and the measurements. If it's ground, I decide that too. I just put in the measurements and and uh, and weight. So I decide all that. And then I do my listing. And when the person buys it, it will ship out whichever way I have put on there. And they'll pay. And then I'll print out the label and they'll will have. Sometimes I forget how I ship it. But I know because they'll say right on the label, this next one will be padded flat rate envelope. So it'll be a P with a padded flat rate envelope right there. Hopefully that helps. Um, this next item, this was one of my 99 cent auctions. So people are always like, do you do auctions? Or It's because I post videos with these. But no, 99.9 .9 of my things are not auctions. Johnny Blaze cargo pants. I don't even know this. I just know they were like Y2K looking skater cargo jeans. And I'm not going to tell you how much I sold them for. You're going to have to wait and see. You're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to put them in a in a video too. I'm going to put them in a video. Put them in a video. Um, Sold for, can't tell you. And they're going to go in a padded flat rate envelope. Ooh, ooh. Are they going to a padded flat rate? Ugh. That's going to be a tough fit. That's going to be a tough fit. But they will fit. They will fit. So they paid me. $10.40 to have them ship because it's a flat rate, $10.40. And they're shipping to Oregon. So if that was priority or ground, they would have paid way more. But since it's flat rate, they're going to pay a, a less amount. So they're probably excited about that. 
That was a 99 cent auction. Um, you thought you had to go teach. You are teaching us. I know that's what everyone says. I think about it often, um, but you always think about the good times, right? So I think about swimming in the pool with the kids, taking a fishing, like all the things that I taught inner city, the things that they've never done before. Like they've never gone fishing. They've never swam. Like all these programs I started with them, like those were so fun. But then you got to think about like having to be at work and getting bit because I taught special needs and getting spit on. And I haven't been sick for like two years, that sort of thing. So I don't know, whatever. We're doing this and that's that. But I appreciate you. Um, let's see. Weather here is boring, boring except for monsoons in the summer. But it does get hot. I don't feel bad for being boring because I want to go mountain biking and hiking every day and stuff like that. And that would be fun. Here, I don't want to go outside and walk. But I do like you, but I don't feel bad. Um, can't customer choose to upgrade priority when buying? They, I think you can have that done. I think you can change that within your thing, um, within your eBay, but I don't. Uh, this is just how I've done it, and it works really well. Um, I always do it the cheapest and most efficient that I can for the buyer. For example, those pants, that's the cheap, that would have been the cheapest that they can get to that person. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't. And um, I usually just try to get it the cheapest I can for the person. So if it's going to go on a ground, if it's going to go on one of these, sometimes people will ask me, uh, can you, I need it this weekend. Can you ship it priority? And I can do that for them. Um, let's see. Let's go for hope for the best sometimes. I just hope I guess I just hope for the best. Uh sometimes I'm over by a dollar, sometimes under by a dollar uh, or two. Yeah. So I always price, so I always whenever I do an item, let's say it's ground. So like this polar Ralph Lauren's going on ground. This probably weighs 10 to 11 ounces. But I always put these Polo Ralph Laurens in at like 12 or 15 ounces just to play it safe. It's going to cost a little bit extra, but it's just to play it safe. Hoping the post office, if I ever make a mistake, hits me. The last thing I want is this to go to the buyer and the buyer has to go to the post office because they get a postage due. That is bad. You don't want that. So I overdo it just by a few ounces. Again, I've been selling clothing and stuff for so long. I know how much stuff weighs. Like I, I just, it's just like anything else in any trade. You, you know things like the back of your hand, um, and it's nothing different here. It's nothing special. Um, let's see. Uh, your rate regular shipping uh, for cal yeah. So you do charge your rate or regular. So do you charge your rate or regular shipping for calculated shipping? So all I do is pick out how I'm going to ship it. And then I will have the dimensions and the weight put in to eBay. So for example, I'll put in priority mail shipping because it weighs over a pound and it won't fit in one of these because it's a pair of shoes. I'll put priority mail. I'll put the dimensions of a shoe box and then... I'll put the weight, which is going to be like, you know, three or four pounds. Um, so that's how I'll do it. And that's how it will ship to them. Um, or sometimes I'll do ground select. But a lot of people, if you look, if you look, priority a lot of time is the same price or just a little bit more than ground select. And people want their items now. We live in a, we live in a Amazon world. I'm the same way. If I order something, I want it now. So, um, I give two options if possible, ground and priority. Yeah, give options. If you want, give options. Some people want it quick. Some people don't want it quick. They don't care. They want the cheapest way possible. I've had people reach out both. Um, so yeah, if you can give options, give options for sure. This is just what I do. And you guys know to each their own. I don't care You know what you do. I'm happy for you. You know, whatever you believe in, politics, whatever, like you do you. That's always been me in life. Like do you, whatever works best for you, I am pro. Pro that. Um, Facebook only or no? Uh, ground select, is that a thing? Yeah, so ground select is a thing. It's not first class anymore. Andrew, hmm, I didn't even see your name. What a punk getting at me. All right, next item, bird dogs. 
boom for your broom for your boomstick. So you can always look for that for bird dogs. But that little uh, hummingbird right there is what you want to look for. That guy's sticking out. You can see that sticking out on the aisle. That's a good brand to be on the lookout for. A lot of you already know that, but some people don't. So don't be mad at me. These are a really good size. You saw what were they? 36 by 36. They have not been hemmed. Look how long they are. Super long. I don't know if you can tell, but they're long. They sold for $46.99. I paid $5. $5. And these are going out ground. If they're going to James, they're going out ground. Um, yeah, they're going out ground. So these are ground. They're just under a pound. And that's how I do it. So uh, Lululemon pants and these bird dog pants, they're lightweight. And I put them at 15 ounces. So they're just under a pound. Um, doing clothes. You get many returns. Um, I don't. So my return rate is I can look, I can look here. Um, I think it's, I think it's around 2% and almost all of the 2% is it didn't fit. And I have buyer pay return and I have buyer pay shipping. So if it didn't fit the person, then they, that's on them and they send it back and that's on their dime. But I put the measurements in the listings. So they, if they don't take a good look at the measurements and stuff and you know, that's on them. But most of the items I sell are men's clothing, and it's the same stuff. Polo Ralph Lauren shirts, they all fit about the same. So like these bird dog pants, they, people probably have a pair and they want another one. They know how they fit. Um, so probably a 2% sell-through rate That's a, or um, return rate. Let's look and see in a second. Let's look and see. Or we can look right now. Uh, what's the name of the bird brand? Bird dog. So it's. I'll type it into the chat. So it's um, bird dogs, bird dogs. I don't know. Weird name, right? All right. So pardon me why I don't look at you guys, but I'm going to go to my safari. I know I could flip the screen around and show you guys, but I'm not that cool yet. I could be. I could figure it out right now. Um, safari. All right. Let me see if I can. Um, ba, ba, ba. Uh, I think I can flip you guys around. Um, picture in picture. Let's see. I don't know if I can. Mm, shift three. Shift three. I don't know. Can you see? Can you see my screen or is it just me still? Can you see my screen or is it just me still? Let me know. Let me know. Um, just you. Okay. Andrew, are you serious? Or are you are you giving me a hard time? Um, let's see. What's the uh, presentation? Video playback. Um, just you. I want to figure this out. So you guys might have to hang on for a second. Because um, I want to be able to do this. Screen on screen, just you. Hey, well, at least you guys are we're interacting. Video. Um, no, don't want any of that. Uh, picture. I should do picture and picture. Cover. Shift three. Um, shift three. It's not it's just me. So it's just you. Hmm. Well. Uh, sorry guys. I really want to figure this out now. I'm one of those people. Uh, add scene. Sorry, you guys are just going to have to deal. We're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. QR codes design. All right. I'll just figure it out over here. All right. So I'm going to go to my seller dashboard. I'm going to go under to performance summary and then it will tell me no not performance summary it's going to tell me sales let's look at sales um nope doesn't tell me there i'm going to have to look at uh just look at performance okay so transaction defect rate late shipping rate um Reviews, click-through rate, conversion rate. I don't know where to look. Uh, seller level. Okay. 
So return rate, 3.9%. So my return rate's 3.9% is my return rate. So that's mostly on clothing. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, you had to sit there. Um, but yeah, mostly on, it doesn't fit right. Um, very rarely, like that one I talked about earlier who said the color wasn't what it said it was, even though I said it was blue, I'll get those. But 3% to 4% return rate. All right, next item. This is what I was talking about earlier. Bonobos, new with tags, $26.96. This would have been $50 five years ago. $50, 50 but Bonobos, 34 by 32. These are going to go out in a padded flat rate envelope for $10. And super easy. I love these. They fit in there really quick. And that's that for that item. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and that's going to Robert. I'm sure it's going to Robert. And it is. I can tell you this. I'm probably not going to go to the post office first thing this morning. I bet it's going to be crazy. So back back to shipping. I don't pick up a ton, ton of Nike. And Nike is really easy to look up the codes for to see, like, which ones sell the best um, or which ones sell or how much it sells for. But I did find this big Nike Air hoodie. So I thought that was pretty cool. Nike Air hoodie um, has Jordan on the front. So I guess it's a Jordan hoodie. So Jordan with the little kangaroo snack pockets. And, um, yeah, definitely Jordan has a Jordan tag. But with Jordan and with Nike, you just, again, if you're new here, you look up the – there is a Q, there's a code here. You look it up. I know it's hard to see, but there is a code there, and it's um, six digits because sometimes there are letters and numbers with a dash followed by three. So six dash three, you just punch those into eBay or Google, and you'll find out what this model is and what it sells for. So that's what I did. It sold for $23.22. I put 22 in there. That's not auto posture. That one is going out actually priority. That one's going out priority. So we'll put that one in here and ship it out. So five dollars. That was five dollars. Um, they've been they've been pricing some Nike up around here to ten dollars. But I think they've been seeing that it's not selling. So they've been starting to price it down to $5 at a lot of our stores. So we're getting, we're, we have a mix now. Most of the time I will not pick it up for $10 unless it's something super special, like a, like a Tiger Woods polo shirt. That's really nice. Um, but that's sold to Valerie and that's going out the door. So first I'm thinking this uh, return rate doesn't include fit because clothing doesn't even show on mine. Um, Andrew, it might not. I don't know. I already closed that window. Um, 3% return rate. Three per, so three out of 100 items. It has to include not fitting because I don't have I don't have that many returns, period. And when they do, when I do have them, they are not fitting. Like I have one right now. I'll show you. So I have two return requests. This one. Um, here we go right here. Here's the request. It's a polo shirt and I'm going to look at details. I have two return requests right now. And, uh, well, it doesn't tell. It just tells me it's shipping. Um, but I know what this, they said they wanted to return it for. Let's look at that. Let's look where it is. Dang it. Um, uh, I don't know where it's at, but they're returning that polo shirt because it doesn't fit. They said it just didn't fit. Um, so most of my items are not, they just don't fit. Um, and then pirate pays shipping. So rarely do I send something that's flawed or anything like that. And then if I do, I take responsibility and I make it okay. What's up, Megan? Um, Provide us forfeit though. Oh, my bad. I already read that one. All right, back to what sold. Back to what sold. I try to look at the details and it wouldn't show me why they returned it. So that's why I was looking for. It. All right, next item that sold was I had that huge bulk by a pole Ralph Lauren. This is the second one I've sold. So second one I've sold. I'm still listing them. Um, and again. 
These are easy because I think I had like 10 of these or something, this exact color. It's like a green. And um, yeah, sold this for $29.99 plus ship. I actually paid $7.99 for this shirt. And I had 20% off. So I even paid less than that. I know in that in my short, I put I, I said I paid $10 or $9.99, but that was actually for only some of the pieces. All these button-up shirts were nine or $7.99, and I had a 20% off coupon. I'm gonna actually save this one for that little short I'm gonna probably do. Uh, I want to do a little short of like things I sold so someone can see it in, like a minute of some just unique items. But yeah, there's that. So five into 30. And again, those are just going to be slow fillers. They're just going to sell over time. I bought however many of them, like 50 shirts or more. Uh, and they're just going to slowly sell over time. Half of them I put my storage unit because they were short sleeve performance. So I'm not going to do those until uh, next spring. Um, next item. This is a Bolo brand, guys. Keep your eyes out for this brand. So Gramachi, Gramachi, Gramachi. Just look for the running dude. He's usually on the belt buckle. There you go. And he's on, he's like all over. He's just running all over these pants right there on the tag, everything. But these are always usually belted. They come in shorts too. And they're like rock climbing pants or something. But I think they're made in Italy. No, they're made in China. But um, I mean, look at the, they're expensive pants. So again, I don't know how much they actually are, but they're expensive pants. When I find them used, they sell for good money. These were new. The ones you really want to find have the jogger bottoms. These don't have the jogger bottoms. They sold for a best offer of $45. They're going padded flat rate. So $5 and a $45 here. This is an example of what the thrift stores don't know. So many of these things I'm selling today, the thrift stores don't know about this. They're going to be pulling their Burberry. They're going to be pulling all that stuff. That's fine. I'll take this for $5 and sell it for $45. Um, and you're going to see here in a second why those high-end brands don't always bring a ton of money. Um, I I have a pair of Ferragamo shoes that I bought off the bulk buy. I think I paid $30 for them, and they're not going to sell for as much as you think, and they're in really good condition. Eric. Eric got these. And these are going to California. So again, they're going to save money because this is going in a, a padded flat rate envelope for $10. If that was going ground or priority, that would have cost them more than that padded flat rate. Uh, here is, I just listed this. Um, I listed it off of comps. I thought the comps were low, but I can't, you know, things will bring what they bring. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren quilted vest. Um, it's got that collar that is like a corduroy collar. Really nice. It's pretty lightweight. I thought it would bring closer to like $60, but the comps weren't there. So I based it off of comps. Um, sold it for $39.99. So there you go. There's your, your fold for me. And this is going out. Um, I'm going to put this in two envelopes and then I'll send it out. Uh, goose down? No, this is not goose down. So if it were goose down, we'd be talking a different story. So the filling on this one is uh, polyester on the filling. So filling is polyester. There's part leather, part suede. So part leather there on the pockets. But yeah, it's very thin. This is a very thin, thin, uh, more for like de decor, I guess. I'm not a vest guy. I don't wear vest. Actually, I'm going to pack this differently. So I'm going to fold it in so the buttons are inside so it doesn't get damaged. The buttons don't get damaged. But I'm not a vest guy. I don't understand. I know it's supposed to keep, like, your interior warm, but my arms are freezing. I'm a jacket guy. I don't wear vests. So I picked up a Goose Down one yesterday. Ooh, Andrew, a, a Polo Ralph Lauren Goose Down. Yeah, so this would have totally brought close to $100 for sure if it were Goose Down. Um, definitely. Definitely. By the way, I'm going to Chicago for a little vacation right after Christmas, and I'm going to go in the Polar Ralph Lauren store. I can't wait. Like the big store where they have the double RL and all the good stuff. I'm excited about that. So, yeah, it is a nice vest. Thanks, Cindy. Um, uh, I might have paid 20 but I think I should do well. Yeah, $20. I mean, $20 for this. I sold it for 40 Still made, you know, $15 profit off it. For down, I would... Down Polo Ralph Lauren, I'd pay 20 all day long. 
I think you'll do real well. All right. So that's going out the door. Next item is going to be a untuck it. So untuck it flannel. I just did, if you're on uh, Facebook or if you're not, I did a live unpacking last week. It's still on there. And we went over like probably a hundred things that I bought last week, how much I bought them for. Untuck it were some of them. Some of them I paid up for because they were bigger. This is bigger. 3XL. If this wasn't a 3XL, it would have sold for like the low 20s. Instead, it sold for 3068 via auto And um, so because it's a 3XL, it sold for that much. And that's going out. This is going out um, priority as well. So priority as well. It's a little heavier. Obviously, it's a 3XL. Uh, and I'm going to actually pack that one later too. I know you guys are like, what are you doing? You never do that. I'm just going to try something different uh, later today. You'll see. You'll see. So that's going to go down there. And then what is my last item that I have? <clears throat> oh, these Ferragamo shoes. Okay. Let me answer your question, though. So. Um, from Polo Store, uh, is it an outlet or do they have a clearance? I don't think they'll have either. So it's not an outlet store. And I don't know if they'll have clearance. It will be right after Christmas. But in New York, Chicago, I'm sure other places, they have like these buildings. They're like three or four stories in their polo stores. They have regular polo Ralph Lauren. They have double RL. They have purple label. They have like a coffee shop in them. They're like very, very, very nice. So I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, I pass it every time. But you guys know me. I'm just like so into polo Ralph Lauren um, that I'm, I'm going to go in there and check it out. And there's a piece to me. That wants to buy something for myself that's like a double RL. I'd be an idiot because I looked last night online. They're like 300 bucks. I was thinking like a denim shirt, like a pearl snap. I don't know. Um, that's are popular uh, down south because it's not as cold. Yeah. the They'd layer that um, with the polo down. Yeah, that makes sense, Audrey. Yeah. So actually, it's funny you say that because my brother-in-law is from, I know it's Kentucky is not that south, but he's from um, Kentucky and he has a Southern accent and they consider themselves the South and they have Southern bells and all that stuff. And he wears a ton of vests. So that, that, that could be the case. It doesn't really snow there. So you're right. All right. So here we go in the chat. How much did these sell for? So Ferragamo, Ferragamo men's belted shoes. Look at the suede. And these are a size 10 and a half, which is like a perfect size. Very little heel drag. Very little heel drag. You know, the bottoms will look like this. Ferragamo. Ferragamo shoes. You'd think they'd go for a ton of money. But this is a good example, too. The thrift store is going to pull this and put it on shopgoodwill.com. And there are plenty of shoes out there that sell for just as much or more. So $75. Cindy says $75. Cindy, you're close. Um, freaking hoodies with the little horse logo, $150. And now I'm wanting them. I know. I I, I, I don't want the little hoodie. I want like a double RL. Something that, and they have the selvage denim. I did a lot of uh, research this weekend on selvage. I could do a whole video on that. But it, the, it, it's really, that's what sold me. You break it in. It's yours. It will form to your body. The the creases that will come with it will come to your body. It's not going to come pre-worn from the factory. You're going to put all that into it. And it's going to become yours, just like the denim. Um, almost like a Birkenstock shoe, right? I don't know. Anyway, 40, 65 was going to be my guess. Um, 145, know what? All right, and you just put question mark. Um, fair God. So they sold for $85. You guys are all really close. Um, but know what? That's what I would... I would have thought $145, you know, $145 for these, but they didn't. So when I went and picked up, um, I went and dropped them off the cash for um, what I do. No. So I picked up all the Polo Ralph Lauren jeans and he's like, I have other stuff. So he brought out all these shoes. There were probably eight pairs that I picked up and we, he trusted me and everything else. You build those connections. And I took them and I said, hey, I'll research them and I'll give you my best price, which I did. Um, and I think I gave him 30 or $40 for these, 30 bucks maybe, um, because the comps just weren't there. So 
The other shoes, I have some other shoes that are worth way more that I got from him. But these just don't bring us what you think they would. Um, yeah. So I didn't pay $5 for those. These came from a private client. And again, I paid either 20 or 30 for them. I don't think I paid 40 I th because I talked to Ethan about them. But let's make sure they're going to the right person. So they're going to California. And they are going to, let me say, sure they're going to Anthony. They are. So they're going to go to Anthony. And I'm going to pack those up with my little video. So there's a sticker. These are going to go in one of these uh, boxes right here. And I'm going to pack them really nicely when I pack them. So I have bubble bubbles here. So anytime I do shoes like this, I will pack, uh, I'll put a coating around each one, like a bag around each one. And then I will put some bubble mailer in there so it doesn't bounce around. But if they're tennis shoes, like running shoes, I just throw them in there. No big deal. What's the item cost? Uh, it still sounds like a good sale. Yeah, it's a good sale. I still made good money off of them. Plus it was a bulk buy. So um, with those bulk buys, you're going to pay a little bit more for some things. Like obviously I would have loved to pay $10, but I'm not going to lowball the guy. And the guy has good stuff and he has a lot of connections. So for me, I'd rather give as much as I can, um, be very, very fair with them and then continue to get. So when I told him how much I'll get for these, he was happy, bring over the money. I also found four, five more pair of Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, uh, double RL jeans. Great. So that was good. And I have a lot more stuff I'm going to keep you in mind. Great. I have friends with stuff. I'll let them know your name. Great. So going to give them, I, I'm not a low baller. I will not low ball. Um, are you wearing Ralph Lauren when you go to Ralph Lauren's store? <laughs> Should I? Hmm. It's Chicago. Uh, usually I, I dress up nicer than this when we go. I'll wear jeans. I don't really have a lot of Ralph Lauren. I don't wear a lot of Ralph Lauren, to be honest. Um, I don't wear a lot of Ralph Lauren. I don't. I, I don't know. So <laughs> I just love Ralph Lauren. I love the brand. I think it's such a great brand. I had to ask. I get it. That's a really good question. Go in wearing U.S. Polo Association. <laughs> Go in with the big hit, the U.S. Polo Association that sells at Burlington for like 10 bucks. Be like, do you guys have, this is your pony, right? Do you guys have this brand? I'm looking for this brand like on clearance. You guys had that, right? It probably kick me out. That would be hilarious. Um, these are the type of places where like they have someone open the door with the white gloves and they'll have a security guard at the front and all that stuff. Do you keep any RL jeans to yourself? No, I'm not going to keep any of those double RL jeans for myself. I don't wear that waist. Um, I might if I wore the waist, but um, I'm not going to keep any of them. Um, yeah, they're not my waist. So I haven't even thought about it. Merry Christmas, Brody. Um, RL Cologne, Ralph Lauren Cologne. I do have Ralph Lauren Cologne. I w I've always worn, they have the red, the black, the green smells like an old man. Sorry if your husband or person wears green, it's old people. But I've been on here talking way too long for you guys. It's a work day. Let's hit it hard. Let's get some sales. Push it through now to the end of the year. But I, I tell people Q4, which is quarter four, which ends December 31st, officially, my Q4 goes all the way through January. I have good sales in January. I've had good sales every year in January. So hopefully it's the same for you. It should be. So just keep on listing. And in January, I have good sales too. Maybe it's because people are at home and they can't go out for the most part, unless you live in Tucson, Arizona. Um, so that's what that's what's up. So thanks for everything. You're welcome. Casey, you're back and I'm gone. My dad wore Old Spice, old people. I don't like to be offensive, but Brute, that green bottle, Brute, ugh, it's awful. Old Spice, ugh, it's awful. Um, and then... The green polar Ralph Lauren is awful. I can't do any of it. Um, when do your sales wane? February. Those transition months. Um, February is a transition month. It kind of wanes. And then at, usually March 1st is when I start listing all my spring and summer. You guys know that. I think I'm going to change it this year. I think I'm going to start in the middle of February or maybe towards the beginning of February. So I think I'm going to change it this year and see if that changes. February stuff is a little slow. It's probably my lowest month. Um, I could tell you right. You want me to tell you right now? I can do that too. So I can tell you my lowest month. So I don't have Jason's head, Jason Hayes' spreadsheet because I have eBay. And it keeps track of all my sales and all my months. 
and all that sort of stuff. And I have my own stuff for cost of goods too. But I'm going to go to my performance. It's, uh, actually, I'm going to go to my, my eBay. Um, and then I'm going to go to account. And then I'm going to go to, should be a place for taxes, seller account. And it's going to go for taxes. I'm going to go to hit taxes. And then, uh, why is it asking for a passcode? Pass key. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, cancel. What is that? Why is it asking for a passcode? Pass key. Okay, taxes. Here we go. 2022. So in 2022, my worst month was um, March. March was my worst month in February. Or February was 12,100. January was 12,600. March was 10,000. Let's look at the year before that. So 2021. We're going to look at the year before that. 2021. Um. January was 18,000. February was 15,000. March was 18,000. Um, so yeah, that let's look at the year before that. So kind of all over the board. So I'm giving you this in real time. Um, the year before that, 2020, <laughs> 2020, February and January, February and March have zero sales. Zero sales, February and March. Oh, you know why though? I could tell you why. Um, because it's PayPal. So in the, in 2020, this went from PayPal to eBay. So my 1099 was through PayPal and then it changed over to eBay. So I had two that year. Sorry about that. That's why, uh, what was your year during, uh, shutdown? It was a good year. 2020 was a fine year. So again, I can't, I don't know my PayPal. I'd have to get into that, but it started, they did the tr transition in August so 7,000 in August, 18,000 in September, 19,300 in October, 18,000 in November, and 15,000 in December during 2020. So the other months came from um, uh, PayPal. So I'd have to go through PayPal because they all everything was on PayPal. Then eBay did their own. They disconnected from PayPal uh, for transactions, I guess, whatever. So anyways, appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Get some good sales in. There you go. I gave you some numbers right off the bat. When I'm on my computer, I can give you some numbers. But I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to go live thrifting tomorrow. So today is Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'll go live thrifting midday for you guys. And I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Go live from the Ralph Lauren store. I might. I might. That'll be after Christmas.